So one of the really common questions I get uh, via email is, what tips do I have for anyone looking to start a personal blog or just kind of a website in general? Very common question that I get. First thing I want to emphasize is if you don't know what to write about, one of the best ways I think you can get started is just purchase your name.com, like I have paulminers.com, and just start writing about any of the topics that interest you, whether it's, for me, it was like productivity and business, if you like fishing, whatever it is, just start writing about anything that interests you. This is going to be a really great way to find out what you like to write about, like what do you enjoy producing content around, and it helps you to kind of find your voice online as well. And then once you've got a bit of practice writing, you might start to gravitate to one topic in particular that you find that you have a particular passion in. So if you're not sure how to get started, I think that's a great way. That's very much how my own website, paulminers.com, started. If you look back at the very early posts, they were all very random, and I wasn't really sure what I was doing, and that's totally okay. A key thing as well is, when getting started, don't stress too much about the technology side of things. I know there's lots of questions around should you use Squarespace or WordPress. Now, there are pros and cons to each. I would just recommend go with WordPress. There tends to be more support and just more kind of customization for WordPress websites. And I want to emphasize as well, because a lot of people don't realize, there is no coding or programming experience needed when creating a WordPress website. That's the beauty of it. You can just pick a theme, you know, the style, the look and feel of your website that you you like like, and you can then customize and choose click buttons to change the colors and the fonts and that type of thing. So there's actually no programming experience needed. And on this point as well, don't get too bogged down and uh, you know overwhelmed with like the design and customization of your site. You know, if you're fiddling with button colors and layouts and things, yeah, I mean, you want to get it looking nice, but just don't waste time on the little things that have no impact. The most important thing when getting started is to start producing content on a regular, consistent basis because content is king. Nobody really cares too much about the design of your website. I mean, if, if you're using a half decent theme, it's gonna be okay. Just focus on producing good quality content on a consistent basis. What does consistent mean? You know, whatever you prefer, but it could be, you know, once a week, once a fortnight. Um, so just, just get started by producing some content uh, and, and start putting it out regularly that you can start to promote to friends and family. Once you've gotten started and you've found your voice, maybe you've honed in on a topic that you like talking about, then you can actually start to look at other channels and other ways of sharing your content. So for example, you could start using YouTube videos like this to add to your content because certain types of content that you produce are going to suit different formats. For example, I recently pub published a blog post about teaching people how to organize files and folders on the computer. That is a piece of content that lends itself very well to a YouTube video. And then there are other pieces of content that lend themselves to like a podcast format which people can listen to when they're in the car. So I like turning a lot of my blog posts into podcasts because I know that not everyone wants to sit down and read a blog, but they might have 10 minutes in the car to listen to what I have to say instead. So once you've gotten started, have a little, have a little go at experimenting with maybe YouTubes uh, and podcast um, content to see if you, know, you kind of like these other formats as well. Final couple of uh, quick tips when you're getting started and you're working hard on your website, make backups of your website. I think one of the easiest ways to do this is to use a service like VaultPress, which is actually a company of WordPress, and you can they will keep backups of your website, so if the website goes down or you break something, you can always restore and keep your work nice and safe. And finally, as you're building an audience, as you're getting people to follow you, it's really worth, especially in the beginning, do it nice and early, connect your website with some kind of email provider like MailChimp or Drip or ConvertKit so that you can actually get people signing up to some kind of newsletter where you can promote new content and uh, you know keep in touch with readers on an ongoing basis. So just having a simple email form somewhere on your website, maybe on your contact or about page, just a really great way to capture people who are interested in what you have to say. So there you are, those are a few basic tips that I have for people interested in starting, my, uh, starting a personal website or a blog. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below this video. And thanks for watching.